Hello, this is Roland Jung from ePlan Canada, and I would like to show you a small trick here. Let's assume that you got a part from the data portal. So here within the ePulse, ePulse data portal, you found that part. Unfortunately, it doesn't come necessarily with more than the commercial information and no 3D information. So here I can actually jump to a hyperlink that was provided to me by the manufacturer. I jump to the manufacturer's website directly to the component. So it's a lot of work that they've put in there. And all I have to do now is just here download the step file. Now, of course, once the step file is ready here, you will see that it will be downloaded eventually into your download folder. And in the download folder, it actually comes as a zip file. You may have to just simply extract that zip file like this, boom. And then inside ePlan, you just temporarily go out of this project and you call up a macro project. In the macro project, you import the layout space step file. This is now this new step file that I'm going to import. Now, this new step file that comes in will represent the 3D object, but as the designer actually designed it. Now, he may have uh, created a couple of different assemblies to actually represent the part, and we will have to organize it a little bit better. So you can see here on the left-hand side, you have all these different logic items. We don't necessarily want to consider all of these items separately. We want to consider them together, so unite them. What we will do is just go here in the Edit menu, Unite, put it here, and now you can see it's one logic item. Now, after this was one logic item, you have to define the placement area. Placement area is not on this side. It's actually on this side here. And more precisely, uh, you have to figure out where it's going to be sitting on either a DIN rail or any other component. So you have to insert here the placement area. In my case, I know it's actually here. So the next step you do is you check out if your designer has designed it in the proper rotation. Maybe not. If he didn't rotate it correctly by looking at the top view, you just rotate this to the correct angle. Oops, Control-Z, that was wrong. Correct angle here that I have to type in is 270, most likely. 270, you can see here. And that is actually the correct way to look at it. Now, the next step is to figure out where the handle is going to be. And it's going to be using the Control key somewhere in between here and here. So right dead center there. That's my handle. Now, last but not least, you have to define the name of the macro you wish to use. Now, I'm making myself a little bit to work easy. This is a CPXE. So here within the macro names, this is a Festo component. So I'm going to put it in the same folders as they would typically do. And here we just go here, place it there, and set the name. Usually we have a convention here that is not obligation, but recommended to just put a underscore 3D. There we go. And it's ready now to generate the macro. Now you got your 3D piece ready to actually enhance this rectangle or this cube that you see here. What we do is we assign to the same part number on the graphic macro here. We just pick the graphic macro where we saved it under C, CPXE, it's an EMA I saved, and let's see which one is the latest one. This is the one, CPXE, that's the part we just did. And bingo, you just hit OK, and the information is now saved inside your project. You want to see that object, all you have to do is update parts placement, and bingo, now you have your cube replaced by the exact representation, the exact component. Now, since we moved slightly the position here, what we will have to do is most likely move these objects again or reinsert these objects so they actually snap on the exact uh, position. That's about the only thing because it's not a component like this one here that was placed on the back plate. Thank you. This was Roland Jung from ePlan Canada, come and see us at the German Technology. If you have some time, we have two events coming up, one this next week and one in Montreal a little bit later.
Thank you.